Hey everyone, this is Scott with TIS. Let's talk about how to use personalized templates today. In order to get started, we are first gonna click on contracts and then we'll go to personalized templates. Now, if you notice here, I have no contracts found. Don't worry, that is because this is a new account and we don't have personalized templates set up yet. However, to get started, all we have to do is go to master templates. From here, you find the template that you are going to use regularly. Uh, so a personalized template allows you to save time because you will make basic edits to your contracts that you will send out so you don't have to keep changing them every time you send them out. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna use the 1099 independent contractor agreement here. This is for our support staff who help us run our travel business, like a virtual assistant, a blog writer, social media editor. Uh, this is not for our independent travel agents who are acting as independent contractors selling travel on our behalf. That is reserved down here for platinum members under the independent travel agent agreement. Uh, so to get started with the 1099 independent contractor agreement here, we are going to come over here to the right side and click the two paper icons for save as personalized template. Once that loads for us, we're going to see some basic boxes here. Uh, in this case, it's asking us for a date. I'll go ahead and give it today. We'll give this customer a name. Uh, and then also we'll, we'll say what the basic term is here and you'll see that that fills in any information that is in placeholders right here when I click next. So this has been updated to Jasper Jackson. We have today's date and also inside of the agreement within the eight pages, it will have the term as 12 months. From this point, we can add in any signature boxes or other information that we would be collecting here with these content cards, or we can just save as a personalized template. Personally, I'm a fan of saving as a personalized template here. Say 1099 contractor agreement, and then click save. Once you've done this, this will now appear under the personalized templates on the left side for us to edit, delete, or execute. When we edit, it's gonna pull up the information for our contract in a text editor. This is gonna be where we can come in and add placeholder text uh, because this is something that the date itself is not always gonna be effective today. It's gonna to be effective at some point in the future. So I'm gonna delete that and add a line as placeholder. Same thing for the contractor here. My dog does not need to be on every single contract I send. So I'm gonna replace that and add in a line. Now I could do that for the term as well. However, most of the time I do 12 month terms. So I will go ahead and leave that. As I scroll down here to the very, very bottom, uh, you'll also notice a section here for us to gather signatures, names, dates, titles, etc. cetera. Uh, I typically add in my own information into the text editor uh, before I save this because I want to save time later on and I don't want to have to keep entering this and my information is not going to change. The contractor's information will though. Uh, so I would fill in the rest of this here just so that it's there. So if I just say operations manager, uh, it's there, always going to be there until I edit it again. And then down here we have the description of what the specific contract is for. So this contract even though it's 1099 contractor agreement, I may use this for my blog. And then I would enter the services of writing a 500 to 1000 word blog post twice a month. Topics given via Trello board. And then from a rate structure, it's going to be $100 per blog post. And you can even add in approval terms or anything else that you want in your agreement. Uh, but for sake of time, we'll go ahead and leave this as very, very basic for right now. And then we'll go ahead and click update. And next time I go to execute this contract, 
we are gonna select our customer, so in this case, I'll just select myself, or we can go ahead and add a new customer by clicking the blue Add button. Once we're in the next page, this is where we are gonna fill in any content fields here that need to be filled out by either the contractor or yourself. Uh, in this case, we wanna add in our date box again, uh, so the customer is gonna fill out the date. We are gonna add in their full name right here as well. And if you notice, we have yellow and blue boxes. Yellow is always gonna be the person signing the contract. Blue is always you as the member who will be getting the contract back or counter signing it later on. Uh, if I click next page a few times, it will take us to our signature page and I will repeat this here, adding in the signature box as well as the name, title, date, address, etc. Uh, for myself as well as the contractor. And we'll also see the next page here for services, writing a 500 to 1,000 word blog post twice a month, and the fees $100 per blog post. Uh, this, again, would be different based off of your specific agreement. Uh, so saving different agreements for different reasons is a great time saver. Last thing that you're going to do is send the document once it's prepared for everyone to sign and that will pull us back to our personalized template and that individual and yourself will receive an email that there are signatures waiting. Thanks for watching this how-to video about personalized templates. If you think of any questions on how to use them, feel free to reach out to us. We're always here to help make sure you're successful, but I look forward to seeing you in our next how-to video.